Y'all niggas got me hot. What's worse than taking PvP seriously in a game like GTA Online? Taking PvP seriously and being absolute garbage at it. Meet the wannabe tryhards. These guys are some of the lowest forms of life you can encounter in this game. The more hardcore tryhards usually only fight amongst themselves to prove who has the most skill, and dispel any rumors about their allegedly small peepee. The wannabe tryhards on the other hand, don't give a shit about skill but rather the illusion of it. They would sooner sell their kidneys to the black market than let their KD slip. It's the only thing that matters to them. You can find them picking fights with easy targets who are just minding their own business. These guys are usually in the transition from casual to try hard. The mentality is there but the experience is not. Maybe they're just a little steamed after their Zentorno was blown up by a flying bike. In a fit of blind rage, they watch a couple YouTube tutorials and buy a Mark II with the shark cards they got from their 13th birthday. Now they're officially a big boy tryhard, ready to get that epic Fortnite W. Here's two of them trying to blow up my nightclub sale. Luckily they don't seem to grasp the concept of proximity mines. It's nice to know that two futuristic rocket bikes armed to the teeth with heat-seeking missiles are no match for a f***ing pedo van. Now, I won't sit here and pretend I'm a god at PvP. In fact I'm the exact opposite. You might even say I'm hot garbage. I have no shame in admitting I'm absolutely terrible with the PvP mechanics of this game. They're honestly just too unbalanced, exploitable, and fundamentally broken for me to ever want to learn. I usually only fight other players when defending myself, competing in events, or fending off griefers with asinine gadgets. That said, if you jump me in a session and lose. Uninstall the game, pack your bags, leave the country. You are bad. A man doing the marksman shuffle ambushed me at the airport. You can see my inert brain slowly try to process where he is. He didn't hit me once. If it had been a real tryhard, I would be dead before I even saw him. My point is, if you're going to go out of your way to kill everyone in the lobby, make sure you have the skill to back it up. Otherwise you'll just bring shame to your family and will be forced to join the circus like the clown you are. This next clip perfectly sums up exactly what these types of players are. This random pulls up to me with a bus and offers me a ride. I thought, this will only end badly but okay. He drove from player to player offering them rides. And to my surprise, we were not blown up or even shot at. Here's something that's pretty rare in 2019, just a bunch of random players coming together and just messing around. It brought me back to a simpler time when the GTA Online community wasn't an absolute toxic cesspool. It brought me a just a little taste of hope for the future of GTA Online. But I should have known better.
The fantasy came crashing down when we came across someone whose sole purpose in this world is to be an asshole. Reality is often disappointing. These types of players are worse than hardcore tryhards in my opinion. They've convinced themselves a high KD makes them good at the game, no matter how they acquire it. They're a big reason why people avoid GTA Online in 2019. They just feel so powerless when they get farmed by some mongoloid on a Mark II. But some part of me is actually really happy these guys exist. A lot of them play GTA because it's a safe space to take out their aggression on others. Veronica, this is what you get for rejecting me. I don't blame them, it's actually a healthy weight event. The great thing is that their lack of experience means their aggression does not translate well into GTA 5. Watching them fail makes for genuinely funny entertainment. With any luck, they will eventually learn that there's really no sport in killing noobs in civilian cars. Or they'll just get tired and go back to Fortnite. That's my time for today folks, thank you for watching my video, have an amazing day.